Hey guys, we're in Mesa, Arizona at the DTF Expo at the Fiery Booth. Uh, with me today is Jeremy. How's it going, Jeremy? Good. Great. Jeremy, Fiery, uh, Cadling, Digital Factory 11. Break it down for us what exactly Fiery is and what RIP software are we typically using to sure. drive the majority of DTF printers on the market? Right. So I'm technical sales for the Americas for Fiery large format and specialty production. So uh, most people in the in industry know this product from the name Cadlink. Cadlink uh, was acquired by Fiery in 2023. The core product that's driving the printers in this market is Digital Factory. Digital Factory is now a Fiery product. So we retired the Cadlink name. It's now Fiery Digital Factory. And um, since that time, we've been acquired by Epson. Um, before that, we were part of a private equity group. So we consider the Epson acquisition really important because they have a long-term vision uh, and a lot of stability and really going to give us that investment uh, to maintain our momentum in the, in the industry. Um, one of the things that Epson did during that acquisition was just um, make it clear that we're completely independent. So from our perspective, Fiery, with the Cadling portfolio, we're completely independent and operating as we always have been. So that's kind of the framework. And, and guys, I, I can't stress this enough. When it comes to DTF, most of the equipment in the room is often made in the same factory. Most of these consumables are made in the same factories. Um, where you really thrive or fail with DTF is in color profiling and having the RIP software properly dialed in. There's a lot of things that go in when, when the machine is installed, there's like wavelengths for print heads and there's just, you can go deep in this software. And if you work with um, your tech who's doing the install and they've been properly trained on the software, they can make that printer really sing. I'll go to some of these booths and they'll have the same machines and they'll kind of say, I can't hit this color. I can't right. hit that color. It's like using the wrong color profile sure, because it's possible. I, I always say, and people are probably getting annoyed with this, 80% of problems with DTG came down to Creetree. 80% of problems with embroidery comes down to uh, digitizing. 80% of problems with screen printing are going to come down to the screen making. 80% sure. of DTF issues, which is really going to come down to, does the print look like what was on the screen, what the customer wants? It comes down to the rip and the color profile. Sure. Yep. So, um, you know, we certainly are offering a full color workflow, but in front of that, we've got a lot of systems just to make sure your file gets in the system and it's automated, processed efficiently. And then when it gets to the color point, we have a lot of different things that we can offer. So as a RIP manufacturer, of course, we're supporting all the devices here, but um, there's really two paths you can go. First of all, um, when you are driving your output device, your printer, whether regardless of what ink sets in the printer, we ship with color profiles to get you started. So that's a starting point. So it's gonna make some certain assumptions about what print modes, uh, what ink set, and then certainly the film. Um, but then to bring this thing, like you said, to the next level, um, there's a couple of tracks you can go through in our software. So in Digital Factory, um, we can interface with uh, all the current spectrophotometers in the field and allow you to basically, number one, put your device through a calibrated process into an optimum state. So we're doing things like helping you decide on uh, the, the small, medium, and dot, uh, large dot mix, the amount of total ink that should be placed, the amount per channel. And through all those things, we're crafting a large gamut space for your printer, making sure it's optimized and it's repeatable and predictable. Once it's in that state, we have a full profile engine through a spectro and we can calibrate, after calibrating, we can take a snapshot of that. Now you've got a rock solid optimized print system. So that's one path you can take. And we have all the tools in the software to do that. Um, with our latest release 11.3, uh, which was released this February 25, we have uh, an express color wizard. Basically it's doing a lot of those steps, but anytime an instrument needs to be utilized, there's either a visual track to take where you can make decisions that way, or when you finally get to the profiling stage, we find that there's a lot of customers here that don't need to um, get out an instrument to get that color accuracy. So what we're doing behind the scenes is providing five, six different versions of what that color space can look like and allowing the customer to select those without having to get an instrument involved. So 
yeah, I'm a, I am very big in that having a spectrophotometer. Yep. But a spectrophotometer is often several thousand dollars. Yeah. You have to have additional software to dial it in and so forth. Typically, one, I highly suggest you buy a DTF printer, have somebody, a professional technician, install it. Sure. Realize that where your color profile in your state may be totally different than another state. The humidity, the elevation of where you're at, there's a that's lot of variables. That's where a spectrophotometer and a calibration is going to take care of that. And that's where when you get it installed, you want your tech to use the spectrophotometer, dial it in. But over time, your print heads are technically consumable. They have so many prints in them. And they may have less ink coming through or, hey, it's colder this time of the year. We have more viscosity and, sure. and more ink flow. So just know that there's variables to account for. And, you know, RIP software like CadLink, who goes much farther than a lot of the ones who come with a lot of the printers. I am seeing CadLink be bundled with more and more yep. printers today because it, it you know, I, I use the analogy. I once bought a, a DeWalt Weed Whacker and it's electric and DeWalt put the cheapest string on the machine. Sure. And I really thought, well, oh, well, this is a piece of junk. And then I got the good string. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is much better. Guys, CadLink is very, very good RIP software. Um, they are known as uh, being one of the most popular. Like Jeremy said, it's very friendly to use, but I like like the automatic job sorting. So yes. like with even Deco Network, you can have your orders go straight into Dropbox and then looking at the name. So like if it had the words DTF, it's a hot folder to grab that. Or if it said UV DTF, get that ready for this printer. And then you can build a network too. Sure. So, so we've got a great partnership with you on, on that yeah. end piece, working with our automatic job sorter. Yeah. And, and Jeremy, could I have, what if I had like a fleet of printers? Sure. I, do I need a rip for each single one of them? Or can I kind of create, you know, it, its own network? Yeah. So for this market, we do have a desktop. Uh, you can add multiple print drivers licenses into one desktop application. So you can certainly drive your fleet of printers from one, one point of view. Um, if you expand beyond that, um, you know, there's potential where we have a, a RIP server that can, can go to the industrial level, but mostly for this market, one piece of software driving multiple printers. Yep. Wow. And, and we have it for, again, traditional DTF, UV DTF. Yep. Um, is Fiery commonly used for eco solvent and those other types yeah, of Yeah, so this well? same product can be used in the rest of the display graphics industry. Um, when you get into large and super wide, that's where you might want to transition to our other Fiery product, Fiery XF. And that's a, uh, a, a distinct product that's a little bit uh, larger investment for that super wide market. And it's mostly UV printing and solvent. That type so CMYK printers, yep. but CMYK plus additional colors yep. as well. I know a few different manufacturers when they were coming out with like their new nine color, Fiery sure. comes out to the facility, helps them build the color profiles. Yep. You guys are have very tight relationships with a lot of the manufacturers right. of the equipment because it's a partnership. I mean, you can have the best consumables, the best environment, everything could yep. be great. But if you don't have the right RIP software dialed in, it's all for nothing. Yep. So yeah, we have OEM relationships with printer manufacturers. Um, and even when we don't, you know, we work with, with printer manufacturers to make sure that there's bundled profiles ready to go. Um, and then in addition to that, um, we have like universal co uh, controller driver. So one thing I just want to mention is this industry is so dynamic and there's so many devices coming out so fast with so many different ink sets. Um, we've built a universal controller driver that allows us to very quickly spin up and respond to that with new drivers. In fact, we've recently released it in a form that a uh, printer manufacturer or a reseller of um, printer uh, gear can basically define their own print modes and write their own drivers right in our software wow. and go, go to market very quickly without having to do that long development cycle. Uh, with our products, so we're well, we're excited about. Again, Epson wouldn't have bought Fiery if it wasn't a yeah. good decision. And Epson, pretty much everything in here is using Epson i3200 yeah. heads or an XP600. So that makes total sense. But I, I cannot stress enough. You know what are we looking around? Just around like between 900 and a thousand yeah. for guys. That it's worth every single penny. It is extremely user friendly, and also like we were kind of touching on. I can build a gang sheet much easier than yep. a lot of other RIP. I mean, there's a lot of great bells and whistles um, that CadLink 
uh, Digital Factory 11, Fiery, whatever you want to call it. I mean, in an email, I could say all three. Guys, it, it is known as uh, one of the best RIP softwares. Highly suggest checking it out. Uh, where can our viewers go to learn more about? Um, yeah, Fiery.com, and then look for uh, Specialty Production is what the segment in Fiery is called. So Digital Factory is the product. Guys, so. it, I can't recommend it enough. In my shop, I just recently changed over to it. Stood, should have done it a long time ago. Change is not always easy. <laughs> yeah. But rips is sticky. Wow, I really liked. It. Oh, it's a very sticky product. So, um, guys, you want to start um, going in the right direction from the beginning. Highly suggest when you're looking for that DTF printer, ask them, hey, which rip software is it using? And uh, definitely look into the yeah. Digital Factory 11 uh, setup because it's going to make you more efficient. And we know that the color profiling is there. And yes. there's some bells and whistles that simply the other RIP drivers don't have. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, check guys. out Fiery and Here. Digital Factory 11.